Today we're going to be taking a look at Firestone's replacement air spring for Firestone Ride Right kits, part number F6401. These replacement air springs are going to work with Firestone's Ride Right kits. The replacement airbag spring will operate up to 100 psi. So is your truck not staying level? Your pressure gauges keep going down. You need to check your airbags for leaks. On our driver's side here, we'll spray our airbag and we're looking for the presence of bubbles. As you can see here, there's no bubbles at all on this airbag, just the soapy water. Now we come over to our passenger side and as you can see here, we've got bubbles occurring and this is indicating that there's an air leak. The soapy water will trap the air and create the bubbles. So we'll need to replace this airbag. Now it's not a common occurrence, but it does happen over time. So we'll go through the steps now on how to get your new airbag in. Before you replace your airbag, you want to relieve all the air pressure that's in it. Now this a lot of times is a valve that's located somewhere near the rear of the vehicle where you can just manually inflate it. However, on this vehicle, it has an automatic air compressor pump. So we'll be using this instead of a manual valve. This will make for a safe installation. We'll need to remove the hose first. Now if you haven't already sprayed it, go ahead and hit it with some of that soapy water. That'll just make it a little easier to get that hose out of there. I'm using a small wrench. This happens to be a seven millimeter, but it just needs to be small enough to fit over your hose. You'll press down on the valve and pull up on the hose to release it. Next, we'll remove the valve with a 9 16th wrench. Just below the valve that we removed, there's a large nut. We'll need to remove that nut using a 1 and an eighth inch socket. And we'll remove that large nut. We'll set that aside as we're going to be reusing it. Our airbag can now be pressed downward. And we can take off the heat shield. We'll also be reusing that. Then on our lower bolt, we'll put our 9 16th socket on it. And you can actually unthread the airbag by just spinning it. And that way you can leave your bolt in place. And we'll just pull our airbag out of there. We're now gonna put our new airbag in. Now you do wanna pay attention to the top of the airbag. As you can see, there's a small alignment pin there. That is going to need to line up with one of the openings in our upper bracket here. So we're gonna go ahead and squish it down, push it in, and I'm gonna thread it onto our bolt that we had down here. Put our heat shield back on. And we're going to slide our air opening up through the hole in the upper bracket. Verify again that that pin lines up. We can then thread our large nut back on to our new airbag. After you've got the top bolt hand tight, go ahead and tighten it down. Then tighten down your bottom bolt. All right, then thread your airline valve back in. We can then reinsert our air hose. I like to wipe it off right before I put it back in. Make sure that it's fully seated. I like to push in and out a little bit just to verify that. And our new airbag is now in, so we can air it up and check it out for leaks. And with no presence of any bubbles anywhere, our repair is successful and we're ready to hit the road again. And that completes our look at Firestone's replacement air spring for Firestone Ride Right kits, part number F6401.